Hi there, uh, welcome to a, another Burrito A Vegan video. Um, just me today, because I'm uh, going to be in the kitchen. It's uh, Veganuary has officially finished, but will continue. So it's from Veganuary to beyond. And I want to share with you a, a traditional Welsh recipe that I used to have a lot when I was growing up. It's called cow. It's uh, quite a nice hearty broth. Uh, traditionally served with cheese and a piece of bone butter, which from what I remember used to be the nicest bit of it when I was a kid, because it's traditionally, traditionally made from boiling up lamb bones and then picking up the meat and then throwing vegetables in and we are not going down that route. So if you want something warming, because it's a little bit nippy out there isn't it really, but let's face it. So something nice warming, filling, a bit of comfort food, and uh, it's so cheap to make as well. Um, here we go. Traditional ish Welsh cow, right away vegan style. See you in a minute. Right, you're going to have to forgive the shaky camera work because I'm using a selfie stick. Now, in here, we've got about two litres of. Uh, let's have a look. It's this stuff organic Swiss vegetable vegan bouillon, which is really nice. I'm um, throwing in, this is about a handful of Swede, which I've chopped up into uh, pretty, 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 pretty triangles. Um, probably might put a few bit more in because it doesn't look like there's enough. But the trick is, this stuff cooks, this stuff takes the longest to cook. So this stuff has to go in first. So, well, let's have a look. Oh, yeah, I'm going to need a bit more. See you in a minute. All right, so here goes in some more. Yeah, that's looking a bit better now. Ooh, puff of steam. Right, I've used about a quarter of a decent sized Swede. Well, this was half of Swede, so you can see how much is left. There we go. Now, they have to go in first because they take the longest to cook. So while they're cooking away, you can get on with putting in the next vegetable, which will be the carrots. Okay, now these are the carrots. They're going to go in now. I'm been using the Tesco's Imperfectly Perfect Carrots, so there's like about five or six there. But I'd say this probably works out to about two or three medium carrots. Anyway, let's get them in. Uh, that's obviously brought the uh, temperature of the liquid down a bit. So you might want to just switch it back up a little bit, bring it back to the boil while the carrots are cooking. I'll get on with the parsnips, because they're next. So the trick with cow is that while one vegetable is cooking, you get the next vegetable ready. So, and I have been joined in the kitchen by the lovely hubster. There he is. He was come down uh, for lunch. So, uh, I'm going to ignore him now and carry on with this. No, I'm not. No change there. <laughs> <laughs> Love you really. <laughs> See. Mm. Love you all. Love you all. Right, there we go. <laughs> ah. Ah, get my camera back in focus now. <laughs> oh dear, right. <laughs> Oh, what's this focus? Now that's about two and a half medium, um, what did I say? Parsnips. Two and a half medium parsnips, so there we go. That's going to come back up to the board again while you get the next vegetable ready, which will be the potato. Oh, I know, I forgot to say something. You can see, probably see a little, a little something floating around there. Well, traditionally, that would be the chunks of meat that come off when you're making the stock. Uh, but obviously, I'm using um, not that. Uh, these are sort of little soy chunks, or you can use soy mints, or you can put beans in if you want. Do you know what? It's up to you. You do you. Right, here we go. Things are chunking along nicely. This has probably had about 10 minutes now. So I am now going to put in the last of the root veg. Here come the potatoes. I know it's me showing my age, but I, just, I always remember this, uh, I think it was a crisp advert and it featured a couple of monks and um, one of them saying to the other, oh, oh, what's that? And you think it's a potato. I think it was crisps. It could have been a mash sort of advert. But then again, oh, I always remember the, um, the, um, the certain mashed potato advert that involved aliens. They take the potatoes and they peel it and they boil them and then they mash it and wah, 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 wah. Um, So 
Yeah, okay, that's potatoes in. Now we're going to leave those now. Did it, did it, did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. What Welsh recipe would be complete without a leak? Anything else? Right, I realised I was burbling like an idiot in that last bit. What I meant to say was, essentially, the cowl is done when the potatoes are done. Because then all you have to add in is the sliced leeks. And that's it. So if you want it to be in a hurry and do it in half an hour, that's fine. If you want to turn it down really low and then just leave it there for a few hours, that's fine too. Simple, really. Right, you can already see how everything's kind of coming up to the top and all nice and quite colourful. Right, and this is probably a good time to do a quick taste check on it as well. Because uh, you might have noticed no fat other than, I suppose, whatever's in the the bouillon powder. But none of these vegetables have been fried, they're just basically bonged in the bowl. And um, no fat and no herbs or spices. Uh, in fact, all you're going to need is just to adjust the seasoning with a bit of salt and pepper. So let's give it a try first. Yeah, might need a little bit of salt later. Um, but obviously I've only got one hand, so I shall probably do that now. Quick tip, when you're chopping leeks, especially up the top bit, chop it first and then wash it. Because the thing with leeks is, is that you do tend to get a little bit of dirt in right in the top where it's grown, and you don't really want that in your cowl. So there we go. Leeks chopped and ready to rock. And now for the final instalment of this thing called cowl. And go some washed and chopped leeks. Yep. So give them a good stir. Give it about 10-15 minutes. And that will be done. Right, I'm ready for the taste test. Let's do this. Get stuck in there. Mm. Ouch, hot, hot. But delicious. Absolutely delicious. Am I surprised? Not in the slightest little bit. He has to say that. He didn't have to say that. That's one thing I really like about Brian. If I make something he doesn't like it, he will tell me. Because there is nothing worse than making something for somebody and making it and making it and making it and then 10 years later said, you know what, I've never liked that. So I'm really grateful for that about him. He's, he's honest because good communication, always key. So I hope you enjoyed that video and I hope you'll try making this uh, traditional cow. All the taste, none of the cruelty. If you liked it, please hit the like and please subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell so that you get updates with all our latest videos. It would be lovely to hear from you. See you soon. Stay well, stay safe, stay happy. Bye. This is, this is, this is probably a good time to do a quick check. Chatham. Um, and this is <sighs> let's hope I wasn't uh, yeah, I'm looking in the wrong place now, aren't I? Am I looking? Yes. Let's hope I was looking in the right place. <laughs>